Hey y'all, I'm following up with you. Uh, I'm gonna do another technology review on the 24 inch Philips Android Smart TV. I was compensated by Influencer to provide this review. And I ordered this product on Friday of last week, Amazon Prime, and it took five days to get here. It arrived yesterday. I am currently um, a Prime member. So I usually get two day shipping didn't come for more than two days. So I'm assuming it was either high demand. Um, that's what I'm going to assume. There was only one or two left when I ordered. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop the link to the product in the description. So if you feel like checking it out, you can go ahead and do that. Also hit the like button and subscribe if you wanna hear about some more tech reviews. So I have the remote here. This is what the TV comes with. It also comes with two batteries in the package. So this is all set up. And I've got the TV set up right here in front of me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this camera around and start walking through some of the things I like and don't like about the TV. So here we go. We'll set this up right here. So I'm just going to turn on the on button. Okay. So it launched me right into YouTube, and this is what I was watching yesterday. Uh, so we'll back out of this for a minute. Okay. Okay, so this is uh, this is actually the, the app. So you can add things to uh, your app. I've added Showtime. I'm gonna find Showtime. Yeah, so Showtime's right here. So this is basically very similar to anything that you would do on like a TV, if you have a smart TV. Um, and you can pretty much log right into Showtime. And when I was on here last time, I was given access to the um, the TV shows. So there may or may not be a subscription um, included. I would look more into it. I'm gonna look more into it. I already have Showtime, so I'm just gonna log in with my username and ID and go from there. So this is taking a little longer than I want to, so I'm just gonna, I'll do this later. Um, but it gives you all your uh, video apps, you can get MLB, Stars, uh, HBO Max, TNT, NBA. So that's, I like that already. I was happy with that. Um, it also has a, a good list of music. See, I've got a Google Home and I use my Google Home a lot to uh, play music. Um, one of the features that I like about this is YouTube. So I've got this set up in my kitchen. So for me, this is very easy to just make dinner and watch YouTube, make dinner uh, and watch Netflix, wait, make dinner and watch Showtime. Whatever I wanna watch, I can just launch right here and I can watch from my, my kitchen. So that in, that in that sense, it's very convenient and I really like that about this product. Um, another thing that I enjoyed was the voice activation. So for example, um, okay, Google, play YouTube. Okay playing recommended YouTube videos. So for me, this is pretty cool. It just launches right into YouTube. Uh, one other thing you can do is you can uh, request specific artists. And when you request a specific artist, the videos will pop up from the specific artist. So you can already see this is launched right into a video. And I think it's very cool. So hey, one, th oh, it's me, Kevin. So one thing that I noticed about this, and he's really, really helpful in the real estate and investing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to tell Google what to do. Okay, Google, pause YouTube. Now it did work this time. One problem that I was running into yesterday was I was unable to pause YouTube running a voice command. So I'm happy that it just works. So another thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just try to launch something else. Um, let's say, okay, Google, play Lil Wayne. All right, here's Lil Wayne on YouTube. So it'll launch right into there. Okay, YouTube, pause. You're gonna feel a pinch. 
Okay, YouTube, pause. Okay, YouTube, pause. <laughs> okay, Google, pause YouTube. Okay, so it's still responding. Uh, okay, Google, play CBS Nightly News on YouTube. Here's what I found. So this is, launches right into the, the dashboard of YouTube to pick, to, um, to search. So this is cool. See, this didn't work for me yesterday. That was one of the cons that I was going to bring up, but it's working perfectly today. So I'm really happy with, with how that works. Um, one thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to try to like launch from the remote. So you can launch Netflix from the remote. So I just hit Netflix on this remote right here and it launches into Netflix. Uh, here's another, I'm going to go ahead and back out of this. I'm going to agree. So let me just, I'm going to hit the menu button. Okay. So this is giving me some options on. Okay, power sound settings. I haven't really gone through specific settings in here. So this is, so let's back out of YouTube. Um, so there's play settings in here. This is Google Play. I have not used Google Play, but this is, um, it allows you to rent movies, buy movies and provides a library. So I uh, have not used this particular feature. I specifically bought this because I hang out in my kitchen and cook dinner every once in a while. And it gets really annoying having to walk back into the living room to try to check out a different movie or a different show or different, you know, I hear something on YouTube that I'm interested in. I'm like, hey, what's going on? Now I can just pop this right up in my kitchen and I can watch videos from here. So that's pretty much my review on the things I like and I dislike about this particular product. Um, I am, I paid, this product was $269 plus tax. And so far I like it. I think it's worth it. Um, because like I said, there's a lot of times where I'm just sitting around and I want to somehow access a show and the show is playing in the living room and I'm cooking and I don't want to run back into the living room to try to check out what's going on on the TV. I've got everything right in front of me. So another great thing about this is it's small and compact. Look how small this thing is. When I say small, I just mean it's a 24 inch and it's, it's got this base here, but it plugs in. So basically, as long as you have Wi-Fi connection, you can bring this thing anywhere. You could, you just need a generator, you get power outlet. Shoot, I mean, if you are, if you got a hotspot, you could probably take like a UV adapter or a, um, AV adapter and plug this in in your car then fire up a hotspot, watch movies. We probably download them to your dashboard in Google Play and watch them in the car too. So for me, this is a pretty cool device. I mean, I I think I got what I paid for. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, once again, say crush a like button if you want some more um, tech reviews. Um, subscribe if you're interested. I'll do these as much as I can, as much as uh, my schedule allows. Uh, the other thing is I'm gonna drop that link to the product on Amazon into the description. And if you're interested in the product, go check it out. So um, any questions you have about this product, go ahead and drop it in the comments. I'll answer whatever I can. Um, I think that's about it. Uh, thanks for all tuning in and talk to you soon.